Hello and welcome back to Love Advice TV. My name is Coach Adrian and I feel especially blessed and fortunate today because I do the best job in the world. I get to live out my passion and I get to empower good people all over the world to find solutions to their heartbreak each and every day. And today I want to talk about why your ex that has broken up with you continues to talk trash about you to mutual friends or to you directly. And I often have to coach people who are dealing with a bitter spouse or a bitter ex who uh, will agree to meet up with you but only to you know, bring you down and talk smack uh, about the pain that you have caused them uh, throughout, throughout the relationship. So why do people do that? Why do they uh, continue to bring you down or to talk bad about you even when oftentimes they are the ones that have chosen to break up with you. And it's a very, very uh, interesting and complex topic and I'm happy to be able to talk about this with you today based on my experience and what I've seen in coaching sessions. And the number one uh, element that I would like to touch on is that a lot of times an ex is still resentful and talks trash when they haven't let go, when they haven't been able to move forward or to move on. And it might sound counterintuitive, why would they still care about me or love me if they are you know, bad-mouthing me and if they're the ones that broke up with me. But sometimes human beings are complex creatures who act in contradictory ways. And the truth of the matter is that your ex probably still loves you and cares about you but unfortunately they don't think that they can be happy with you. That's right, it's not a love or emotion issue, it is a trust and happiness issue. They don't trust that they can be happy with you. And so despite the fact that they love you, I should even say because they still love you, they resent you and they verbalize or vocalize this dichotomy and this pain in this way. They start talking trash, they badmouth you to, to, to other friends, in hopes of making themselves feel better, in hopes of, in, uh, of you know, channeling this negativity in, in order to heal, but it does not make them heal. And so if your ex is still talking trash, a lot of times it's because they still have feelings for you. At the very least, it's because they haven't been able to let go of the relationship. Sometimes people are very, very resentful also because they're just hurt. They're just so hurt that, um, they just can't let go of the past. And it's not necessarily that they have these strong feelings for you, it's that they had high hopes and high expectations uh, of you and of the relationship and it's just pain. It's just pain upon pain that they are communicating in a way that is um, quite honestly not conducive to healing. And um, so that's why a lot of times people also talk trash. It's just because they have so much pain in their heart and that they don't know how to address that pain and how to heal. I've seen many situations where exes talk smack to mutual friends also to try to get their validation, to try to get people on their side and it's very manipulative and I would encourage you to not engage in that type of behavior because ultimately they're only hurting themselves. Even if they get a few friends to resent you for the pain that you've caused, they're only hurting themselves. And so if you feel like your ex is doing this specifically to turn people that love you against you, I would highly encourage that you keep a safe distance. Don't try to reach out to your ex. Don't try to uh, you know, defend yourself every time they do this. You can continue to engage with mutual friends, but don't talk about your ex and don't talk about, your mutual re about this relationship unless they force that conversation upon you. It's best that you focus again on things that you can control, on rebuilding healthy relationships with other people from your past, friends that you've lost, family members that you've fallen out of touch with, in order for you to be in a positive, positive constructive dynamic. Let your ex self-destruct, take the high road, and beautiful things will happen. And so, if you're dealing with an ex who's still bitter and who still talks trash, this video should empower you to move forward and to inspire them to also start to look within and to do healthier things to help them move forward 
in order to potentially rebuild a healthier relationship together. Don't let them drag you in the mud. Take the high road no matter what. I hope this was helpful. If you've learned something, please like it, subscribe, and as always, keep fighting the good fight, my friends. And see you soon on Love Advice TV for another video.